All right, what's happening? <clears throat> Welcome back to What's Happening with Brock. Um, it's been a while since I posted a podcast, so just bear with me. Uh, I'm just going to kind of just kind of ramble on and recap some things that uh, that have been going on lately. So uh, let's see. I guess uh, well, first off, it's that time of year, <clears throat> fishing season. The spawn is in full swing. Uh, you got Toledo Bend and Rayburn just producing mega bags right now. Uh, even with even with nasty water, people are catching big fish on the bend. And uh, I actually set my personal best uh, a week ago with uh, an eight pound five ounce uh, donkey. So, it's it's been a good uh, it's been a good spring so far. Got another trip coming up next weekend. A couple buddies coming up. We're gonna go try to hammer on them. So, we got that going on. Um, it's also that time of year, March Madness, and I mean it's been a mad year. Uh, first time ever a 16 seed upset a one seed. And I don't mean just barely upset, dominated Virginia. That's been the only game I've watched out of this tournament. I have been keeping up with it a little bit. A um, couple other upsets in there. We got an 11 seed in the final four. So it's been a crazy, it's been a crazy tournament year. Uh, what else we got going on? Let's see. College baseball, full swing. The Tigers, not looking so hot. Um, I know it's early in the season. Uh, some people, you know, you know, they lose a couple. You know, they've lost some midweek games, which you know, eh, some people or some people don't care about midweek games. Some people go berserk over midweek games. My thing is, is. Whether it's a midweight game or not, whether you win or lose, it's the things in, that happen in the game that uh, will kind of show you how the season's going to be. So, I, I was fortunate enough to actually go to a, a game at the box this year, and luckily, uh, I got to watch. I got to watch the Tigers play the Horns, and it was Game Two of the series. Where they had the big comeback and actually won the game, but at the same time, for a few things that I've seen from watching that game and listening to several of the other games, is this team is young. Um, there's not a whole lot of experience. There, there's some, but they're they're struggling on the mound. They're struggling at the plate, and even the fielding, ha- even the defense, hasn't been all that great this year. So, I like I said, I know it's early. I know, uh, I know, coach is going to get it together, and they're going to make a run. They got a big series coming up uh, with Mississippi State this weekend. They need to take they need to take the series in that one. Need to take all three. After coming off a uh, tough weekend last week in Nashville against Vanderbilt, so we'll uh, we'll tune in Friday night and see if we can catch uh, catch the first game of the the series and see what happens on that one. What else we got going on up? Spring football is underway. The Tigers are uh, in the process of uh, figuring their quarterback situation out. Um, from the lap, from the couple of scrimmages that I've looked at the stats, it seems to be Brennan is taking the majority of the snaps. No big, uh, no big surprise there. Uh, o has come out and said that he wouldn't mind that he has nothing against playing two quarterbacks next year. I don't like. I personally don't care for the two quarterback situation. Uh, the two quarterback game plan 
it's inconsistent. You know, you get inconsistent play. Now, like some people have said, you know, a a package here and there for for the second quarterback. I can see that. Um, so you know, we'll we'll see how we'll see how the the quarterback battle shakes down. Also, you know, there, there's other questions on that team. You know, we got for the first time in forever, there's no clear cut starter at running back. The defensive backfield is uh, lacking in depth for the first time in a long time. You know, it seems that, you know, the last two years, there has been, whether it be defensive line, <clears throat> linebacker, or the DB position, you know, one of one of those positions has been lacking in depth. Um, you know, last year, the defensive line was... The defensive line wasn't very deep early in the season due to some injuries. Uh, the linebacking core was was not very deep. They were good, but they weren't very deep. The defensive backfield was our strong point last year. We had plenty of bodies there, but now, thanks to the uh, NFL draft, we have lost several several key components to to our defensive backfield so it, it it's going to be uh, you know it's something to watch keep an eye on you know uh, the receivers we got a bunch of receivers they're they're all going to be young so <clears throat> you know springtime you know we all know is a good time to especially with a new offensive coordinator is a good time to put, um, you know, you, you start you start slowly putting in your packages. Then when you come back in the fall, you uh, you really ramp it up. You install the majority of your game plans, uh, the majority of your offense. So um, we'll see we'll we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a tough year. The Tigers have a very tough schedule next year. Especially starting out on the road in the neutral site game against the Hurricanes, who are going to be very, very good next year. <clears throat> you know, and then on top of that, you get, you know, just the, the brutal SEC schedule that we have. So, you know, not, not real high expectations uh, with football right now either. Basketball, hey. Basketball had a stellar year uh, for Coach Wade's first year. Made the NIT, won a game in the NIT. You know, coming off a of, coming off a very, very, very disappointing year last year. The uh, I was very impressed with the Tiger basketball team this year, and look for big things next year. The women's basketball team back in the tournament this year upset in the first round you know that that team is uh, I should say that program man how fast it fell going from you know four straight years in the final four to barely being ranked in the top 25 and you know it, it's been a slow climb back up so Hopefully, hopefully we got big things to come from the women's side of the, of the court. And then also speaking of women's sports, softball, softball dominating. You know, uh, you know. Hopefully, ho hopefully, you know, we can pull a, we can pull a college rule, you know, a women's college rule series championship out, so they can uh, start catching, you know. You know, keep track with the baseball team here and there. So, gymnastics, big year, SEC regular season champ, SEC tournament champ, and uh, we'll see if they can if they can finish it out and get a pull a national championship for gymnastics. So, uh, Saints are uh, 
The Saints have been kind of active in free agency. Big one, they re-signed Drew Brees. That was key. <clears throat> Signed a couple defensive players. So, hopefully, hopefully the uh, the Saints, and we'll see what the Saints can do in the draft. So that they can continue and uh, on the season that they had this past year, see if they can uh, follow that up next year with an even better season and make it back to the Super Bowl again and bring home another Lombardi Trophy. So that is uh, that's kind of that's kind of the wrap up. The the kind of just uh, the the rambling on of, and, and catching up on some on, on what's going on right now. Other than that, you know, working a lot. Uh, got the new boat. Uh, you know, just the things are, things are, things are going good. We're, uh, you know, everything is, you know, lo I love this time of year. It's just, you know, the weather's beautiful. Well, for the most part, it's been raining a lot, but that's expected with the spring. That's springtime weather. Right now, we got a beautiful bluebird day, not a cloud in the sky, a little breeze. We're looking at 74 degrees outside. So, <clears throat> ready. Uh, I'm sitting at work right now, actually. We're so we're, and I got one week left before I'm headed back to the lake, so we can hammer on some more donkeys. So. Until then, y'all uh, keep hammering on them. <laughs>